How's everybody doing? That's right, it's that time again. It's time for the men to talk. It is time for men to think. It is time for men to be men. So gather around. Grab yourself something to drink. Kick your feet up. It's another lesson. It's time to get into it. Specifically regarding the black community. You brothers know when I talk about women issues, I generalize to every race of women. But I understand my channel was created specifically for black men. So I must give my brothers what they subscribe for. This section of my channel will be a series of video. There is already a part one called the black women issue. This is the black women issue listening. Consider it a part two. It is where I dissect the issues of black women specifically. And I am talking about the westernized black woman. As our sisters in non-westernized parts of the world are the true women. In the first segment, I criticize the black women in the western side of the planet for not being feminine enough. The lack of femininity has been the general umbrella, the main reason for the problem many men, not just black men, as you know, even the white men who have dated and married our black women have been facing these same same problems that they have been complaining about the lack of femininity too much masculine energy and it is masculine energy in the wrong way delivered the wrong way in a way if we men were to deliver it ourselves we would be considered crazy possessive controlling abusive so just imagine being the man and having to live with an unruly form of masculinity in the house coming from your woman it is a pain a heart wrenching pain indeed now before I go further If you do not know The reason why I generalize When I speak on women issues And I generalize Broadly throughout all the races Of women It is because our brothers date women of other races And too often I see many of our brothers Leave black women And date ratchet Horrible Loudmouth Disgusting Women of other races I am here to help our brothers. I am here to teach our brothers on what to stay away from, regardless of the race. But in this segment, once again, called the Black Women Issue, we will be dissecting specifically what raises the black woman above all other women. When it comes to family problems Unfortunately So with that said Listening is today's topic Let's get into it We complain about many issues With the black woman But as I sit back and I analyze As I communicate with our sisters I am realizing one of the major problems that keep them from a functioning family, a normal functioning family, is the lack of listening capabilities. Our women do not feel the need to listen. Alongside not listening, 
comes naturally talking too much our women do not see the reason to be silenced they do not see the reason to remain silent when their man is communicating a point when their head of their household or their relationship if they do not yet live together is making a point she does not even hear him so we can assure ourselves brothers that we are asking for too much to ask her can she listen to us if she does not hear you my brothers there is no way she is listening to you women in many races but in this case I'll say black women women like to say that men do not like to communicate well is that true for us real men on this channel we understand that communication is key and we do communicate but the issue is she is not understanding our communication because as men we say what we believe needs to be said and then we shut the hell up we expect it to get done once we sort out a problem we assume that is the end of it however with our women they oftentimes want their way not a negotiation not the possibility of seeing an alternative route that benefits the agenda of her husband no she oftentimes is trying to overrule her husband and one of the reasons for this is because women in general do not listen very well but our black women take it to a whole new level because while other women may not listen and they may do what they want and end up in a fight and eventually conform to their husbands and do what their husbands ask even if it was a struggle the black woman will be talking the entire time her black man is trying to make a point if you don't believe me just look at the youtube comment sections where a small criticism of black women may come up on a video they are in the comment sections before they have seen the end of the video how do i know this well it's two things the black woman is either dumb or she did not watch the completion of the video because she is either asking questions that were answered in the video or she is going in circles about a topic that was clearly dissected in the video so since i don't believe our sisters are inherently dumb i'm going to have to say she did not listen to the entirety of those videos how many times have you brothers post a comment and a woman answers going in these illogical arguments that is because she did not read and carefully process the entirety of your comment and in your relationships my brothers this is the same problem you face she is talking and she is giving a spew of attitudes which is worse than any other woman in the western world doing the whole time you are trying to speak how many times have you had to go in circles because she was not listening 
to properly understand why listening is important for communication and why the black family suffers greatly more than any other family we have to define listening so let's get into it listening is the ability to accurately receive and interpret messages in the communication process listening is key to all effective communications without the ability to listen effectively messages are easily misunderstood how many of you have been approached while trying to get your point across to a black woman with these phrases what are you trying to say that's number one so what you are saying is that is number two so basically you are saying that is number three and I can go on and on and on and not one of those three that I just mentioned you brothers haven't heard before come on that's why I'm here I'm giving you things that you know and I'm giving you a different perspective on how to see it and understand where the problem is coming from in order for us to start constructing a solution sometimes the solutions are obvious but many brothers on YouTube are going off of the solution campaign. But many of them are not finding the root of the problem. So many of their solutions too oftentimes go down the drain. You see, listening gives her or any person the ability to accurately receive and translate the message being given in the communication process listening is the key meaning it gives you the ability to open the door to what to all effective communication the proof is in her questions so basically you are saying so what you're saying is so what you're trying to say is so if I get this straight meanwhile adding a spin of attitude to it attitude that you can see in her mouth in her neck her chin her eyebrows her hands the posture that she is taking arrogance the same problem that white men who are dating black women in the Western Hemisphere are discovering. And to an extent, I am glad they are discovering it. Because everyone seems to want to put the label on the black man. That he just don't understand how great his women are. Well, my white brothers, have fun. <laughs> have fun my brothers go ahead now this is coming from a black man who exclusively date black women who settles down with black women myself I don't go looking for other races of women but just because I have this perspective does not mean I do not address the problem as I see it. I'm not going to sit here and tell you the black woman is God blaspheming. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that the black woman is the mother of civilization. I'm not going to sit here and tell you the black women, they are queens. What I'm going to tell you is the truth and the truth in our current state. I don't care if the black woman ruled the planet at a point. I care about what the black woman is doing that is affecting our children today.
When our women do not listen, we men cannot grow. How can I present an idea to my woman when everything that comes out of my mouth she belittles because she thinks she's the genius? Because some feminist idiot have spewed lies to her to make her believe that women are more intelligent. But this is the same black woman who claims to believe in the Bible. As most of them say they do Who goes to church and believe in their pastors I call those women a legion of non-virgins waiting to get married <laughs> A legion of women who completely ignores every laws of God That puts the man in charge of her she is the same woman who believe that an intelligent, all-knowing God, creator of all things, could put a man in charge of her that is inherently through his sex dumber than she is. Because somewhere in her mind, in her lack of listening ability, the lack of listening accurately that is she has processed that this God she claims she believes in set a man to rule over her as her leader but he is dumb and she's smarter than him she does not find a problem in that logic only if the black woman could do as we see in this picture hush listen carefully to what your men have to say or any men she might be dating for that matter because many of them are coming back to the black community looking like salty salty women as they have been made a baby mama A single mother By a man Of another race They are coming back Trying to hook up with black men With the children Of white Asian Hispanic And Arab men <laughs> Oh my goodness Some women should think God Simps exist Cause the good creator knows If it was up to men like me An example would be set The solution is That the women take heed that they need to listen And I mean listen accurately Listen carefully to what's being said Cut the ego Cut the arrogance Cut the bull And understand that They are sick Fatally ill The diagnosis Incapable of listening incapable of shutting up while your husband boyfriend fiance is speaking incapable of processing the information delivered accurately Without opening her mouth and saying something that is completely different Than what was said to her Now you gentlemen are understanding why most of the civilizations around the world Including those of ancient times Did not give women the abilities to speak in public It is not misogyny it is simply because getting a woman from point A to point B 
is not a straight line. Somehow she will jump to Z, to Y, to W, to D, to E, to X, and then find herself some Russian alphabet somewhere along the line. Ancient Egyptian Coptic hieroglyphics, some Asian calligraphy, and then hopefully, if you are lucky and not drained by them, after this journey that she has taken you on, you will find B. When your intentions were very simple, to start from point A to point B, a movement that would take you one minute. But speaking to a woman and trying to get her to listen and understand what you are saying, especially our black women, is a mission in itself. A true mission impossible. The solution on the men's side. We're going to have to leave a majority of these women alone. And I'm not saying leave black women alone. I'm saying leave these westernized black women alone. If you look at my channel, in the videos I've talked about, even though they talk generally about all women, my solution is, if they will not change, we need to leave them alone. We don't need to fight. We don't need to yell. We don't need to hit. God forbid. We don't need to work up an ulcer. We don't need to work up a blood pressure. Get our glycemic index out of proportion. Blood sugar skyrocketing or it's too low. Because we're not eating. Our B complex vitamins are off. Our metabolism is going crazy. Causing chemical imbalances. Causing us to get angry often. Seeking anger management. Putting yourself in a situation where you can no longer see your children. Our solution will eventually have to be to leave this woman alone. And as they realize the majority of men do not want the black women. Then they will start training the future generation and fixing up themselves to be better. Today's topic, dissecting the black women issue, listening. It is truly a disease. And I believe we might be at the point where it is incurable. It is airborne. Pass from mother to daughter, sisters to sisters, homegirls to homegirls, from your television set to her brain, from the teachers, the professors, in the books written by feminists like Betty Friedman, a hypocrite, telling women they cannot accomplish their full potential if they have families but then go ahead herself and start a full family and become a successful feminist and author hypocrites lying and destroying the female mind under the banner of female liberation meanwhile claiming they are Christians saying that they believe in the Bible the word of God but they do not realize that feminism in itself is a sin if you read what the word of God says listening is important for communication and the black family cannot advance if we cannot communicate how can I communicate when my woman will not listen how 
How can we give her the crown and call her queen when she behaves like a whore? How can we call her a good woman when she's not submissive? She won't follow and she won't listen. How can we call her a good mother when she refused to nurture her children and her husband? When she refused to nurture her home, when she refused to take heed to warnings from good men who follow scripture, good men who live by moral standards of both society and God. How can we call her smart when day after day she makes the dumbest decisions? She overlooks the good men. She have a problem with this video right now that's playing because she doesn't have the capability to listen accurately. To listen to the message and realize it is not hate. It is a call to bring her back into her completed form. Into her moment of completion. Her moment of transcending to what she is supposed to be to who she is supposed to be a true woe man how can she be a queen when she do not realize the true kings who wear the true crown who speak these kind of truths who teach men to stay with good women who teach on building the family structure who warns of future disasters and catastrophes politically economically to come so that their communities may be ready so that their race may be ready so that our families may be strong when she overlooks those kind of men and pick the scumbags how could you open your mouth and call her a queen she does not care for her skin she's tattooed all over with names of different men babies she's had and abortions of possible babies she could have had all tattooed all over her rappers who fell off disgusting profane language coming out of her mouth a quick mouth to speak when a man is still speaking always challenging and sticking her neck out and have something to say to disrespect and disregard what a man had to say a good man mind you how could we call her queen when she refuses to have a king If the black woman does not learn to listen, she is completely useless to a good black man. Because we cannot move forward if we do not communicate and we will not be able to communicate if she does not listen. If she keep deflecting and saying, well, it goes both ways. Well, the black man don't listen either. Right now, my sister, we are discussing one subject. And that subject is you. So my brothers, once again, thank you for tuning in to the MLC, the Mr. Limba channel. The channel that only speaks to men and specifically to the kings, to the good black men. Let's keep pushing. This is a revolution. A revolution of the mind. We're not having this garbage anymore. We are transcending. And if our women cannot transcend with us. Like Lot's wife in the Bible. She turned back. And was left back frozen in time. As a pillar of salt. As her husband and children move forward. We also will leave her and move forward. I'm out.